Micro seeds is a term that has recently been used among the patient community and more specifically in my comments. Hello YouTube world. If you're new around here, then my name is Katie and welcome. But if you're not new, welcome back, love. So as you could see from the intro there, I've had quite a few comments surrounding this topic. It has got a little bit of noise in the community as a whole anyway. So I figured I would do a video on it. However, there was a comment that basically I've been asked, you know, have I got micro seeds? Why am I talking about it? Why am I bringing it up? And the commenter that commented on that post said it for me um, and basically said, if I haven't had the issue, how can I talk about it? Spot on, because I haven't had the issue, right? So I didn't really feel like I needed to talk about it. However, clearly you guys want me to, right? So I just figured, okay, we will talk about it. So first and foremost, what are micro seeds? They are small, not completely formed seed. And you find this in plant and obviously flower. They can consist of seed pods or just tiny, tiny little ass seeds. Most plants have male and female reproductive parts, but we all know that the main part of the plant that we want is the female, right? Well, plant varieties used in the medicinal field are highly feminized, but still the ability to grow seeds is deeply rooted within that specific genetic. So it's not gonna be impossible for the plant to grow 0% without them. These micro seeds can produce a filthy, disgusting taste and paired that with like super strong smoke and it can trigger coughing. It's not very nice. You can usually tell when a seed has been burnt into your medication once, once you're medicating. The experience is completely different and you just know that a seed has slipped through. It smells rank as well, like seed burning smells disgusting. Like you just know it immediately, right? So if you didn't know what this was, and sometimes you've come across whilst medicating, you're like, oh, what is that? You probably got a little micro seed. Sometimes you can crack it open and find a fully formed seed. So in this case, I wouldn't call that a micro seed. I would literally just say it's a seed in it because it's like fully formed. Whereas micro seeds aren't fully formed. So as I said earlier, most plants have either male or female reproductive parts but pollen from the male fertilizes the females in this instance, which then produces the seeds. However, we doesn't actually need pollen in order to reproduce. We can actually do this from cloning. I'm not gonna get into it, but if you guys wanna sound off in the comments about cloning, then go ahead. In grow facilities, the males are usually separated from the crop entirely which is how you would have a decent knowledge. You should be doing this, right? So this is what grow facilities would be doing at a higher rate. And this is to prevent the fertilization of the female plants, allowing them to grow without producing seeds, right? But, this is a big but. This is not going to be foolproof. This is a natural organic plant that produces seeds, it forms and grows from seeds. It's gonna happen, right? Like there isn't some super techie AI machine that's been created where it can dig deep down into like the flower and then extract all the micro seeds before being sent off to the patient to make sure that it's like quality control is at a thousand percent. We don't have that. It is all done by humans. Like humans are doing this, it's human touch. Therefore, we are going to get human error. As I said, I haven't personally had this issue. I have only had lot 420 the first time, which is when I reviewed it. And I'll put my batch number in right now so that you guys can see if yours is the same or whatnot. But this is the batch number. It was absolutely fine. I break it up before I grind it. So I, you know, look at it. I can see that everything's okay. And obviously whilst, you know, medicating, you can taste and smell and see if everything's okay. However, if you are a patient that is consistently or regularly receiving your medicine that has a shit ton of it in it, then I would be saying something. 
right? I would be saying something. I would be asking the clinic, what is happening with this production? Was it just this batch? This is my batch number. Look at the state of it. Was it just this batch? Or is that the whole lot all the time? Because if so, something needs to be changed, right? Which is exactly why we need to do these sort of talks. We may be five years into this shit, right? Yeah, all right, it got, you know, legalized in 2018. However, you guys need to realize, yeah, that the UK is one of the, I get so annoyed about this, sorry. A few moments later. The UK is one of the highest like countries that works in an archaic way. We are a fucking laughing stock to every other country because of the things that we do. We know we could be doing better, but we don't. Why do they not learn from other countries? There is a countless amount of data out there to see, but we just are like, nah, mate, we'll do it our way, innit? Nah, we're not changing it. Why fix it if it's not broken? Well, guess what? There are some things that are broken, and so we need to get out of this teething process that we've been in for five fucking years and start actually making moves. So without doing this video, without you guys commenting, without the community raving, we can't make change. So thank you so much to everybody that had commented and that I have featured the comments in this video. I didn't know if you wanted your name on the comment, which is why I blurred it, because I'm just not a fan of personal data. Like, I know that you, oh, your comment is public. Like, I get that. I get that the minute that you type a comment down, it's public, I get that. But there's just something in me that doesn't want to put their name on, I don't know, I don't know. It's just me, in it? It's just me. So thank you to those people who did make those comments um, and make me aware of the situation, even though I haven't had it myself, but, Listen, I've just done some research into this for you to make this video, right? I, you know, I'm not going to make it too long. I'm going to try and make it under 10 minutes if I can. But I'm just trying to make this for you guys and for, I don't know, the companies in the future or whether this somehow finds its way under the community's top people that are dealing with it. Like, I don't know. I really don't know. But we do need to talk about it but also i don't feel like there should be a massive massive wave of negativity when it's only like one or two like i get it if if, if your medicine is completely like seething with it then like turn it back do you know what i mean but like if i saw just a couple I'd just take them out and just continue because like the quality of my medicine is actually very decent you know the lot 420 was absolutely lovely most of the green carrot is absolutely lovely. However, there is going to be human error, as I call it. There is going to be human error because we don't have a machine that can just like, you know, quality control it to a thousand percent, as I said. What do you think? That's what I want to know. Are you happy that I made this video? Are you uh, unpopular opinion with me? Like, let me know. Sound off in the comments. Let me know. I love to read all your comments. I don't always get back to everybody because, like, I just have a super, super busy life right now. Tell you the truth, I'm making this video the fucking night before. Like, so pff, it's literally 2.56 on the Saturday, the 30th of March, and I'm making this, got to edit this, got to upload this, and then I've got to get back to work on my side business. So I'm just super, super busy, but I very much appreciate everybody that comments. I, I literally look at them all. I really do. Even if it takes me weeks, I really, really do. So thank you. Like the video if you want to tell YouTube that you like this sort of content, push it out to more people, hopefully get a voice out there about this sort of situation. And above all else, if you've got any value, then please hit subscribe. I'm trying really hard to get to 5k subscribers. And everybody that's come along, thank you so much. New members, welcome. Love you. Footage coming out also later tonight for you. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And I'll see you later. Bye.